Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's Mark at the Shave Stop in georgetune.com. I'm back with another video and this time around, as promised, I wanted to show you how I take a small shaving puck like this Colonel Conks and fit it into a large shaving mug like this so that it fills the entire bottom so it won't spin around. It'll be a nice solid puck in the bottom of this shaving mug and this is what you're going to need. Uh, a potato peeler. I like to use this kind. You can use a regular potato peeler like this. Doesn't matter. Get a nice plastic cup with a with a nice flat bottom, and whatever soap you want to use. Colonel Conks, Vanderhagen, uh, but a nice a nice soap that uh, is good to work with. Kind of pliable. Uh, gives you. It's going to give you good peels because we're going to be peeling the soap. Let me show you with Vanderhagen. Okay, pop this out. Now, as you can see, the, poke, the, the soap puck doesn't quite fit the entire bottom. And as a result, when you try to build a lather, it's gonna be sliding around in there. And it's gonna take some time to actually fill that. So you wanna fill it right from the get-go. How do you do that? Well, this is how I do it. And I'm gonna put that one aside. I like to take this potato peeler and just peel the soap into peels like this. Get those peels into the mug. That's all you have to do. Now that's going to take you, oh, I don't know, several minutes. It's not going to take you that long, but I won't do the whole process here for you because it will take far too long for me to do it. But that's all you need to do is just peel this down with a potato peeler. And um, because I'm on camera, it's a little awkward to do this. But when, when you do it, you'll find that it goes very, very fast. And when it gets down to a really small nub, just take your knife and just cut that, that last little few pieces and throw them in there as well. And once you've done that, you're going to have a pile of shredded soap like big potato peels in that mug. That's where this cup comes in. The flat bottom, very carefully, you mash it down and you form all the way around it. Form, 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 mash, 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 mash. And get that all down, mash down to the bottom of the mug so it forms all the way around the sides and gives you a nice puck filling up the exact diameter of that mug. And that's why I use plastic. Then, the next step is to take some very hot, hot water. Hot water, and pour hot water onto the top, maybe no more than a quarter of an inch high. That's all you have to do. Then take it and set it aside overnight. When you come back, you will be greeted with this. I've already done it in this shaving mug here using Colonel Conks. I've used two of these, and as you can see here, you can see here, this is not going to fit in there at all very nicely. I use two of these to fill this precisely. I have a nice big shaving puck in the bottom. Again, put the hot water on there, let it sit overnight, and this is what you get. You get this nice, solid shaving puck right on the bottom of the mug. And you can see, you can kind of see where all the peels and everything have fused together. And this gives me a really nice solid puck from which to build a shave. So my brush now fits in here very nicely and I can go ahead and I can either load the brush and then go and build my lather in a shaving bowl or I can build my lather right here in the mug on top of this shaving puck. It doesn't slip around. It doesn't, um, doesn't give me any problems. It fills the mug nicely and um, you know I'm good to go. And of course I use the Colonel Conk Colonel Conk's Lime uh, Shaving Soap, the Glycerin Shaving Soap. Make um, all this shaving soap in here. And this is going to last me a good long while. And, and that's it. That's all you have to do to get uh, a small shaving puck into a shaving mug. It works very, very easily. It only takes maybe 10 minutes of your time. Just remember to mash down like that. Put some very hot, hot, hot water. After it's mashed down and fused and, and, and in a nice, nice compact size at the bottom of that mug, 
take some hot water, as hot as you have, not boiling, but as hot as you have from the tap, and put about a quarter of an inch on there, let it sit overnight, and you'll get this you know, the next morning ready to go to give you a great shape. All right, that's it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Please comment below. Let me know. Visit my blog, georgetune.com slash blog, and I'll talk to you again real soon.